So we have a hatch right here on this exterior elevation going around jets or blocks. It's not a good workflow as you can see. So we will have to fix the hatch by removing boundaries and so on. The second option is to use a hatch, right? To mask, I'll have to uh, go ahead and get inside my block or the block editor, uh, go to my layer palette to create a new layer, white or something so that way i can change the color through white from here and once i had that i could use my hatch command select my object my hat place it on that new white color and then send my hatch to the back i can see my objects close my block save my changes and i will have my uh, block ready to go let's see how we can automate this process and create a custom command that can quickly add a hatch to my block using the cui to create a new command using this card so once i hit that star icon i can rename my command um so you can call it as you wish but i'm gonna call it lazy hatch to block that's the name i'm gonna give i could select an icon here but the idea is that we can tweak the macro settings over here with this following piece of code create a layer called boundary to give me more flexibility uh, when hatching my blocks or my objects inside my block and i'm going to give it a color with this c option color three would be green that's not important the color is just for you or for the user or for myself to differentiate what i'm select we're creating a layer with this following piece a simple rectangle with the rectangle uh, rec shortcut and we are giving them to a hundred comma a hundred draw a rectangle i'm gonna zoom onto my objects with this uh, zoom command that's what i'm gonna do is zoom and over objects and my objects would be i'm gonna use the boundary command with this shortcut over here bo for boundary and i'm gonna set uh, inputs or coordinates 45 comma 45 why well, because by picking a point in this coordinate, uh, that will be inside my rectangle right here that we just created. So the boundary command again will give us a nice outline or boundary of our objects for our block, right? Create another layer. I'm going to create a new layer, a elevation white. I need color white. That will help us mask our uh, block right so that's what this piece of code does again create a true layer white if we don't add this setting for our hatch we will face a problem and the problem is that sometimes the color of our hatch might be different so that's what we will use the hp color hatch pattern colors to current with this period using the hatch command command line version using this uh, character and then I'm using the hatch object with the option to select my objects following by this character that for the user to pick an object to hatch. So the way I'm going to send my hatch to the back is by using this command or shortcut uh, hb hatch to back command. What I like to do, to do is erase some of the objects uh, that were created uh, with the boundary command. The way I'm going to do it is by utilizing this uh, a small piece of code that will help me select the objects on the layer boundary. Once I select objects on the layer boundary, AutoCAD will erase them command and the previous option and we want that because again once we create a boundary um we don't want to leave uh random objects over there right i'll click ok for now uh, before i proceed with the next code here just to test things out uh, that's a good idea you don't want to keep adding and adding these strings and then realize there is a big problem right <laughs> then of course uh, i'm gonna add my new uh, lazy hatch to block command to the quick um, access panel i'm gonna click and drag it all the way up here and release it like so so that way i can have it available anytime right so i'm gonna test it really quick i'm gonna go back to this uh, block open it oops what I did. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go and go to the block editor and test my new lazy hatch to block command. So I'm gonna, okay, it's asking me to select my objects. My object would be here, select my objects. So, so far um, it's working as expected. At this point, I will have to close my block editor and save the changes, of course. But let's see if we can also automate that process. I'm gonna go back to my CUI options and of course find my command here, right? Lazy hatch to block command. And over here, what I like to add um, is a command called vclose. So this command, of course, will close the block editor. And to save the changes, I'm gonna use the S um, as key over here for save and of course press enter, right? So I think this command is ready for a final test. I'm gonna click okay and apply and see how our command is working. If you are interested on this type of content, like this video.